You can hear bits and pieces. The way somebody moves, it, you almost think, um, well, they can't be bothered today. Or they slump. Slump, you know. <laughs> um, or you can tell somebody who's in a rush, or somebody that's got something on the mind. You, you can tell. You can you can just tell because you think they're not concentrating, and I'm going to end up wrapped around them in a minute, so I'll move over. <laughs> But if I'm trying to meet somebody, then I would listen for the voice or the footsteps because I'd be used to them and then they move differently. People have different wobbles. If somebody's firm footed, they'll be firm footed in soft shoes as well as firm shoes. If somebody walks on the toes or shuffles the feet, they will still shuffle no matter what footwear they've got on, even wellies. The city at night to work is hard for me um, in the sense it all changes, like the, the lighting that comes on that's not there in the day because I can use that lighting to find my way around because obviously it's something I can see. Um, but when it's accompanied with headlights, it's confusing and dazzling. busier, all the smells are more pungent, everything's more active isn't it, um, perfume, because everybody puts extra on to capture the opposite sex or whatever it is. Smoke as well, because it builds up in the, in the pubs or whatever and then it comes out when doors are open. You get wafts of it. You can reek, really. So it's, it's too confusing. There's too much to put into an order to process. It's too much too soon. So I just end up very confused. It's almost as if somebody's waxed the radio up full. There's that line, isn't there, where it's too noisy that you can't think and I can't find my way around. Where there's also when it's too quiet that if you hear anything, you, you can think, well, what was that? But was that something that's coming my way? Because it's too quiet, so you're picking everything up. But whereas you've just got a natural drum of things, then it, it's easier because you just come accustomed to it. And then suddenly I think, well, like, well, where am I? Because I've lost my concentration. That it's three down curbs, which is a road, because obviously you go down three and a left, and I know that I'm at whatever it is, boots or whatever. Um, and if something like that happens, I'll suddenly think, gosh, how many curbs have I gone down? One, two, three, and then after suddenly think exactly where am I? Right, is there anything I can see? Because I've got some vision left. So I'll then look for something big patterns, monuments, anything, signposts that stay the same, um, not billboards because they change them, more of um, like an office sign or painted railings, um, you know, strong, strong characteristics that don't really change. Hopefully they don't knock it down and then I can get myself back together and carry on. You work around the city, you kind of live that lifestyle, don't you? You're always busy, you've not got time to stop like everybody else. But you find with, when you do stop and look around in a town, everybody's bustling about. There's very few people that are just taking the time, stood there watching. 